Hi Leo, this is your reading for the 31st till the 6th of February 2022. I'm using the Spirit Within Tarot and the uh, Light uh, Sears Tarot. You come in with the Hierophant. So this means you could be seeking advice from somebody that you respect, that is mature and that you trust or love. And or you could be getting uh, advice from a professional. This could be um, um, a person that works for an institution like the courts, lawyers, advocates, or um, a doctor, or a headmaster, or a professor, somebody that could help you by and um, giving you advice about your question or situation at hand. Also, uh, the Hierophant represents t um, Taurus, so you could be dealing with a Taurus or meeting a Taurus. Also, you've got the Chariot. This advice will stand you in good stead as you will get victory, because the Chariot means victory. The Chariot also means that you've got recognition. Also, that you luck um, is on your side, as it is number seven, and it represents cancer. Also, you're going on to the next level in career or in romance. Like you could be, if you're going out, you could be getting engaged. If you're engaged, you could be getting married. Also, in, in career, it could mean promotions or a wage rise. That's the overall energy for you this week, coming week, and we you come in with the Six of Swords, leaving hard or difficult times behind you, and or rough water, and going to quieter water, uh, quieter time. Tranquilo, that is what I'm hearing somebody saying, shouting out, tranquilo, yahoo, and you could be moving home or business or you might be going on holiday you could be crossing water so beautiful energy here for you you've got two sevens you've got the seven of ones as well here you can see she's in a bubble so and she's looking away yes um, you might feel you have to defend yourself don't defend yourself but don't isolate yourself in your own little world so Come out of your bubble. Be seen because you will be victorious. They will see that you are a champion and you uh, can stand on your own two feet. And that is usually how it is depicted. Somebody standing at the cliff's edge, warding off the other six ones. But in this one, she's enclosed in a bubble and she's protecting herself from negative energy. That is great, but you can't stay isolated or in your own little world because life goes on and you should get on because you're going to quieter times, a better time. There's an end of difficulties and there is a great new beginning. Now, that said, you've got two sevens, so you've got double luck. A couple of other signs had double luck as well so the uh, lucky energy is in the atmosphere also quite positive and celebrations galore for nearly every single sign so far you've got the four of pentacles again telling me and uh, the the, the uh, traditional meaning means or the basic meaning means holding on to money being the miser it doesn't only mean that because I see it differently, also because I read intuitively. This means that you're closing yourself off, you're protecting yourself, you're keeping your heart and your solar plex boom, protected. Matt, you can't receive love, you can't receive laughter or positive energy if you do yourself short. Okay, so come out of your mind, come out of your, your uh, um, um, isolation and open your heart, open your solar flex and let the three L's come in. Laughter, love and life. 
live your life to the full every single moment and be grateful that you have a new day every day. You are good and you uh, as yourself and you deserve to be loved and to be liked and you deserve to laugh. And I think if you're not going to do it, if you're not going to come into action, then the universe or the divine will bring it into action because you've got the tower here, the unexpected change. Something was not built on proper foundations. You can't build a foundation by isolating yourself because you will fall over. You know what they say, let them be, let them fall on their face and then they will realize what they have to do. Sometimes we have to go to the deepest um, ends of the valley, as they say, or our dips, before we realize that we have to come into action and change the present and change the future because we can't change the past. So take this tower moment as exciting and as an adventure. Don't be scared of it. Change is inevitable here. So if you're closed down and you're not seeing the change, then boom, you're going to get it thrown at you. But seek advice on how to change you for the better. If you do, you have heeded the warning. This is a warning because this is for next week. If it hasn't happened yet, then forewarned is forearmed. Seek advice from somebody that you trust and that's mature or professional and see what you can change in your life for the better. Perhaps a crowd of people um, have you've outgrown and you want and you have to feel that you always have to defend yourself with this crowd. Cut away from that crowd. They're not... Um, um, any use to you. Go outside, enjoy yourself, spend a little money on yourself to make you feel good, look good and have a great time. If you do that, you will be celebrating big time. Well, Leo, this is the first reading that is not too positive. You know, you've got one of, you're the one major zodiac sign that usually has the most positive reading and that's what i'm trying to tell you see the positive side of things because if you take action then it turn this reading will turn out beautiful and you can celebrate but you must come out of your isolation and you must heed the warnings the warnings could be your inner alarm system because you've got the high priestess here listen to your intuition Listen to your stomach if you've got butterflies and be aware if it sounds too good to be true, it usually isn't. So learn from the past and let the negative go and change the present and the future on how you like it. And also be flexible and compromising. If a crowd of people or if people aren't um, to your liking, then break free and walk away. You also have the Page of Pentacles. The High Priestess represents the Triple Moon uh, Goddess, which uh, the Moon represents Pisces and Cancer. So you could be dealing with a Cancer prominently, but also with a Pisces. Use your empathy. Use your intuition. Never ignore it. Don't doubt it. If you doubt it, then seek advice. This news could, is the, of pentacles could be about a child. It could come from somebody younger or from a child. And um, it is most probably news that it has tangibility, durability for a long time. And will keep you in your strength since you've got the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. Uh, number eight, the house of money and the house house of power so be in your power my darlings you also have a session um, assessing assess the situation before you step into something find out the information do the research and listen to your intuition if you assess things before 
and, and learn from them, then you will succeed and have victory. This is what the, the, the King of Pentacles does. Everybody that treads into a new job or a new contract or a new house or signing contracts, make sure you assess the contract by reading the small print. Now, we've also got the Romance Oracle, and you can use this also, not only for re uh, Romance, but also for General. Take time out to retreat. This is the Four of Pentacles. Take time out to recuperate and regroup, and then come out even bigger and better in the strength. You're moving up from seven to eight. Well done. And now to a nine. A nine means an ending, and a new beginning. So this is a new moment uh, when you take quality time out with your partner or with certain friends, then make sure they are true friends. Okay? I hope you have liked this reading, Leo. It is short, but it is direct. So get out and get out of your um, comfort zone. Uh, get off your laurels and come into action and get your victory because you've got double luck, two sevens. Wow, amazing. There will be celebrations. Okay, that is up to you, but you have to come into action. So take care, stay safe and be blessed. Have a beautiful week. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing. Take care.